According to a tweet by Jesus Roman on June 19, 2023, the Chinese PLAGF, People's Liberation Army Ground Force, conducted a combined live ammunition drill with 155mm PCL, 181 self-propelled howitzers and 152mm PL-66, Type 66 towed howitzers. The PCL-181 is a 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer, developed by China to replace older towed artillery pieces like the 152mm Type 66 and 130mm Type 59-1 to with a more mobile and versatile platform. More and more countries are developing their own self-propelled howitzers, as the Army Recognition Editorial team has already shown in this analysis. Compared to towed howitzers, the self-propelled design offers faster deployment and withdrawal capabilities, enabling shoot and scoot tactics to avoid counter-battery fire. The PCL-181 was first observed in 2017 and publicly revealed in 2018. The Chinese army officially adopted it as the PCL-181 in 2018 or 2019, and operational units were showcased during a military parade in 2019. This artillery system is primarily used by the People's Liberation Army PLA, S medium or heavy brigades, providing them with enhanced artillery support capabilities. A standard battalion equipped with the PCL-181 comprises 18 howitzer vehicles, organized into three batteries, each containing six vehicles. Additionally, there is one battalion command vehicle, three battery command vehicles, and nine battery reconnaissance vehicles in sets of three. Furthermore, the battalion includes one set of artillery locating and fire correction radars, consisting of two vehicles, one meteorological radar set, also with two vehicles, one mechanical maintenance set, two vehicles, and one electrical maintenance set, one vehicle. The PCL-181 is armed with a 155mm gun howitzer featuring a barrel length of 52 calibers, L-52. The design of the gun howitzer is likely based on the AH 2155mm L52 field howitzer, with modifications for mounting it on a truck platform. It has the capability to fire various types of 155mm ammunition, including standard NATO rounds and indigenous ammunition developed by Narinko, a Chinese defense company. Some of the types of ammunition fired include He ERFB, He ERFBBB, ERFBBB Cargo, ERFB Illuminating, ERFB Smoke Base Ejection, and ERFB White Phosphorus. The vehicle carries 30 rounds and 30 charges stowed in racks located behind the cab, on the sides of the truck. A semi-automatic loading mechanism allows for a rate of fire between 4 to 6 rounds per minute. For self-defense, the PCL-181 can be equipped with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, which can be mounted on the roof of the truck's armored cabin. The truck is also equipped with NBC protection. Mounted on a Tyan GM 6x6 military truck chassis, the PCL-181 offers greater mobility and maneuverability on various types of terrain. Its combat weight is 25 tons, which is only about half compared to the PLZ-05, and it has a ground clearance of 0.38 meters. The vehicle's gradient capability is 58%, side slope is 40%, vertical step is 0.4 meters, trench is 0.7 meters, fording depth is 1.2 meters, and turning radius is 11 meters. The PCL-181 is powered by a WD6 15.44 supercharged, water-cooled, diesel engine, providing 315 horsepower at 2,200 rpm. This allows the howitzer to attain a maximum road speed of 90 km per hour, enabling rapid relocation to new firing positions and enhancing its survivability in combat scenarios. The howitzer has an operational range of approximately 600 km. Due to its relatively light weight, the PCL-181 can be airlifted by various medium transport aircraft, such as the Y-9, further enhancing its strategic mobility. Specifically, two PCL-181 units can be loaded onto a Y-20 transport aircraft. To operate efficiently, the PCL-181 requires a crew of six soldiers housed within an armored cabin, which provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. The crew consists of gunners, loaders, and other personnel responsible for operating the howitzer and supporting its functions. Equipped with a highly advanced computerized fire control system, the PCL-181 aids in accurately aiming and firing the howitzer. 
It takes into account various factors, such as the distance to the target, elevation, and environmental conditions, ensuring precise and effective artillery strikes. The vehicle is also outfitted with navigation, positioning, and targeting systems, further enhancing its overall accuracy and effectiveness. Target information is acquired through data received from artillery command vehicles, enabling engagement of specified targets with high precision. The PCL-181's firing position is equipped with two large hydraulic jacks. Before firing, the PCL-181 deploys two large spades at the rear of the vehicle to anchor the howitzer and provide a stable firing platform. This stabilization system minimizes movement during firing, improving the accuracy of the artillery rounds. Designed for quick transitions between firing and traveling modes, the PCL-181 can convert to its traveling configuration in about one minute. This capability is crucial for evading potential counter-battery fire from enemy forces. According to the Military Balance 2021, 200 units of PCL-181 are in service in the Chinese Army. Additionally, Pakistan has shown interest in this self-propelled howitzer with reports of ordering around 300 units of the export version known as SH-15.